Okay, this is part 3 of how to build an e-bike battery pack. As you can see, I've already connected my main wires. I've used a 10 gauge wire with an XT60 connector. Uh, I also ordered 5 cell JXT extensions for connecting my balance leads. Uh, to solder your main wires, you'll need a heavy duty soldering gun. I use one that is 230 watts and it put enough heat to solder the 10 gauge wire. To connect your main leads, first thing I'm going to do is cut off the male connector. We do not need that. To connect your balance leads, look at your JST connector. The wires at each end will connect to the positive and the negative and the four in the center will connect to each cell. So let's get started. Okay, so that goes to the positive. Now we gotta find the negative, which is gonna be this one. Okay, so now for connecting the four remaining wires, we'll make this as easy as possible. If you look again at your JST connector, find the one next to your positive. That's going to be the next one that we're going to connect. And the easiest way to figure out where you're going to hook this one is kind of follow the current flow. So you got your positive terminal right here. So if you follow that cell, you got your positive, so you're gonna get the negative here. So that's that's the way the current is flowing. So this is the next one that we're gonna connect. So this wire is gonna go attached here, but we gotta connect our packs in parallel. So this one will also have to connect from here to here. So what I'll do is get a little extra wire. There we go. And hook the two ends together. All right. So now we got to connect that one to this one. Okay, that's our first one. As you can see, it connects to the JST connector and then it connects to the next cell. They are connected in parallel. So now we'll go back to the JST connector and we'll find the next one in line. That's the third. So following the current again, we started here with the positive, so the current is flowing this way. We already connected that one, so now it keeps going this way. So that would be the next one that we got to connect. I just realized I'm going to adjust the length a little bit because I want my extension to be all about the same length. I don't want leftover wires. I'm going to cut it right there. And from here, we're also going to have to bridge to over there to connect these two in parallel. So we'll do the same thing we did before. We'll take an extra wire, solder these two together. And now this one connects to that one. Okay, so starting from the red, we already connected the second and third, so we gotta find the fourth. So from there, we're gonna 
connect this one right here. So we're down to the last one and we'll do the same. Obviously it's going to be the one not connected but just for kicks we'll follow the current anyways. We started here, that was our first one after the positive, came this way, second one after the positive, flows this way, third one after the positive, last one, fourth after the positive. From there, we gotta connect to this one. And that is it. All of our balance leads are connected. So what we can do now is uh, connect it to the battery medic and see what it reads. And there you go, 20.45 volts, seems to be pretty, pretty decent balance. So that's it for part 3, if you like this video please subscribe, see you in part 4.